Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Andrew with iTech Triad. Today, I'm going to be showing you a video on how to speed up your iPhone 4 slash 4s on iOS 7. So why don't we get directly into it? Probably one of the most significant ways to do this would be to clear your running apps. This gets rid of a lot of the processes going on in the back of the phone and just keeps things running pretty smoothly. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reduce your transparency. You can do this by going into your settings, then general, and then accessibility. And then under accessibility, you're going to find a button that says increase contrast. You're going to want to hit that button that says reduce transparency, which gets rid of that transparency under notifications and other things. The next and one of the most biggest things that you want to do is to disable that background refresh. And you do that by going into general and then background refresh and then slide that over to the left and then go ahead and hit that little warning button. What it does is it stops when you're background apps from refreshing and taking up a lot of space. The next thing is probably just to get rid of your unused apps. I know that can be difficult sometimes, but you've got to let go of some of those apps you don't use anymore as they do tend to create a lot of storage space. And the very last thing on this video is to reduce your motion. What you can do is go into your general, then accessibility, and then a button that says reduce motion, which you want to slide over to the right. What this does is gets rid of that parallax effect on your icons and your alerts and just deletes most of those processes that it would normally take up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, just giving you a general idea how to speed back up your iPhone 4s less 4s. I use these tips for my daily driver and I love it because it actually does work and it helps me out a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, leave a comment below, like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and we'll see you next time on the next iTech Triad video.